With this video, I am going to go over the print command inside of Civil 3D 2018. Um, it's pretty similar to the, re the rest of the year's releases, but I am going to show you um, some simple stuff that will make your life easier and kind of a few things that I've ran into that had to figure out what was causing them and that way you can get your print better. Um, starting off here, one of the first things I've, I've seen before in the past is if you bring a border in to 0, 0, 0 insertion point, sometimes the stuff that was in the drawing was not in 0, 0, 0 range. So it's still showing the print extents for this these two viewports, they were down here prior to me bringing this border in. So I moved them up, and then now to get that to show my print extents around my border, you have to go to the Page Setup Manager. So you right click on the Layout tab, go to Page Setup Manager, and modify the Layout tab print limits, and the print, uh, you know, setup. It's going to take a second here. This uh, inside of here is where you control whether it's at display, whether it's at extents, if it's at a scale. Um, you can do all of the different options inside of this page setup layout button. Um, it tells you what pin table it's going to use. So this is a 22 by 34 um, plot. I've got it set to extents. If you set it to display and then back to extents, it will fix the issue that shows that this is not in the correct location. So it, if you go to if you just toggle from extents to display, it will jump everything back to um, inside of your extents of your plot limits. Um, so there's a lot of ways to get into the printing of the drawings. You can type plot, and that'll pull up a standard plot or print window. Well, it's taking a while here. There is up in the top, there's a one button for print. If you go to the A, you can pull down and go to print there. Um, there's a lot of ways to get in there. Um, I, I usually hit plot or go up here and do this one button for print. The, you, know, you can see the printer icon. And then you can also pull down, and there's a step, step, step where you pull through the print icons there. All right, so I have this set up to print to the DWG to PDF um, plotter.pc3. Um, that is the thing built into AutoCAD that makes your PDFs to a smaller size. Um, I've got it set to 400 DPI. I think the default is set to like normal, which is. I think it's like a hundred, and then you can't change the the. Uh, so I set it to custom, raise that up so that the plot is a little better. Um, I've got my CTB set to what I want. If you know this, the project is set underneath a different CTB. You know, you scroll up and down through here to find the one you're looking for. Um, I will show you where those are at in the settings once I get through with this. Um, so it's set to 34 by 22 or 22 by 34. I've got it set to extents. I've centered the plot. And it's at a one-to-one -one scale. Um, all of your page options are here. And there's a bunch of different options. And then if you're not wanting to print a PDF, but you want to print a just to paper before printing to PDF, just straight to the plotter. Here's all of our options for our plotters here. If you click on one of these, it's going to change your options for your paper sizes here. So 
if you were wanting to do an 11 by 17 print, it might be named tabloid. It might be named there. See, it's tabloid 11 by 17, and that's going to change the way this is shown here. So it doesn't fit within the limits there. If you go to one to two, I think it will show it as fitting, but I typically print this Xerox is a, a it's not a full size plot that's why it's not giving me the the option of a full size 22 by 34 plot um, I make it a practice to print my check prints things I'm going to print to paper I still print to a PDF first it's just easier because um, you can print it full size and it will fit like it's supposed to it'll look right and then if that is actually what you want and it's what you're going to save you already have a, a PDF of it and you can send it somewhere or you can email it to somebody um, and it's already full size it's not half size so that if they wanted to print it out full size they would be able to do that without having to scale it up um, if you get this like you like it you can hit apply to layout and it will save that so that the next time you come in and hit the print command on this layout tab in this drawing, it will um, it'll be set up like this. If, some, if somebody came in and did a change and they put the wrong pin table and had s saved it, and you came in here and it printed wrong for you and you didn't realize to check the pin table, you would want to come back, put it back to the correct pin table, and then reapply the layout, and it'll stay um, what you want um, if you're doing a batch plot which would you can do it through the publish command and it would be outside of the uh, outside of the sheet set so you'll need to add a page setup so that you can apply it to the whole all of the layouts you're wanting to print so that they will all be the same settings and use the same extents and whatnot you just hit the add button here and type something that you'll be able to recognize and then that page setup layout name will be in the list when you go to publish this drawing if you type the publish command it'll show you a list um, I like to take a preview of my sheet to make sure it is doing what I want and I have a quick you know check of the border and if, if something's showing like it's supposed to or not and you can exit from here or you can print from here. I usually exit just out of um, out of habit, probably. Sometimes I right click because you can right click and get print from there. Um, but I always I like to do a print preview just to make sure that what you think it's going to look like is what it is going to look like. And that also is a good way to tell if you've got the right CTB file, the right plot table. Because if you've got the wrong one and some colors that aren't supposed to show up are showing up in color or they're all wrong, um, that's you know that's just a pretty quick and easy way to get your print checks to make sure things are doing what they're supposed to do. Um, real quick, I will show you in the options where to set your plot table so underneath printer support file path plot table search path if you browse here you can browse to where you're supposed to to look for the plot tables ours are on the CAD library a CAD plot styles and you just go there um, I've got some like if you want to take a specific two or three you can make a folder somewhere underneath here and if you had it underneath plot styles you could do plot styles my styles or your name and styles and then drag a couple CTB files in there and then you wouldn't have such a large list to go through whenever you are looking at your plot files in CTB um, that in a nutshell is a real quick and dirty look at printing inside of Civil 3D 2018 hope it helps